a very warm welcome to all my students so today we are going to study the biology damage and control of papilledomelius okay so uh, papilledomelius is a common and widespread swallow butterfly so this butterfly is also known as lime butterfly lemon butterfly lime uh, swallow tail and checkered swallow tail so these common names refer to their host plants which are usually citrus species such as the cultivated lime unlike most swallow tail butterflies it does not have a prominent tail the butterfly is a pest and invasive species found from asia to australia so if we look about the taxonomy so it uh, belongs to class insecta order uh, lepidoptera family papilionidae and uh, genus that is papilio and species is papilio uh, demolius okay so you can he uh, you can see here the adult uh, lemon butterfly it has uh, it is without tail so how we identify these uh, pests on our fruit then uh, their eggs are small round and pale on color the caterpillar is yellowish green with few oblique brownish strips you can see here yellowish green I will show you the butterfly uh, the caterpillar you can see here the uh, larvae of the this butterfly so the larva the cater uh, the caterpillar is yellowish green with few oblique brownish strips you can see here you can see the brownish strips so it has a yellowish green color with brownish strips it has horn like structure you can see at the top of the head on the dorsal side of the body and uh, the adult is large beautiful butterfly with green color wings having black spots Uh, this species is mainly found throughout the tropical and subtropical regions of South Southern Asia ranging from Saudi Arabia Iran and the Middle East to India Nepal Southern China Taiwan and Japan it also found in Malaysia Indonesia New, uh, New Guinea and Australia in recent years Papilodomelius has been recorded in the Dominican public of Puerto Rico and Jamaica so it's a old world uh, species uh, or we can say that uh, papilodomelius is a native to the old world where six subspecies are recognized uh, they are papilodomelius domelius papilodomelius libanius papilodomelius melanius uh, papilodomelius nevogeniensis papilodomelius thenilius papilodomelius thenilinus uh, and uh, the last one that is the papilodomelius thenilis is found only in australia and along with the african subspecies the last uh, the, uh, the papilo species that was reported from dominican has been traced to a southern southeastern asia subspecies this species is also morphologically similar to papilo demodocus as per from the africa and madagascar so uh, if we're talking about the distribution that the species is all uh, found throughout tropical and subtropical regions that is Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Middle East to India. Now, the eggs, uh, the eggs are pale yellow, nearly spherical and about 1.5 millimeter, basally flattened and smooth. You can see in this diagram. Uh, the eggs are pale yellow nearly spherical you can see uh, from this diagram that the egg is spherical and it is about 1.5 uh, millimeter in size and basically it is flattened so that it can be attached to the leaves upper side of the leaves and also smooth uh, female lay eggs singly near the edges of the host plant leaves so the female lays only single egg at the leaves 
then if we talk about the larva there are totally five instance larva of the papillodemolius uh, so the la first instant larva are black so you can see in this larva the first instant larva are black with a black head about 1.5 uh, with two sub dorsal rows of short fleshy spines second third and fourth instar have a dark brown glossy head capsule the anterior middle and posterior part have broad transverse of white bands giving larva a bird dropping camouflage pattern so you can see here the uh, third fourth and fifth so there is an additional row of paired fleshy spines on the thorax the head is brown smooth and glossy with short hairs so if we talk about the fifth instant larva you can see here the fifth is the largest one the fifth instant larva are cylindrically shaped and tapered anteriorly you can see the anterior side is tapered two pairs of fleshy spines are located posteriorly you can see uh, these are the spines which are present posteriorly and again immediately behind the head these spines are very short and gradually change from yellowish uh, orange to green they have rows of orange or pink spots edged with black laterally and sub dorsally with black transfer marking located anteriorly with more scattered black markings laterally and at the rear end so there is a white sublateral line along the abdominal area just above the legs the fleshy spines are orange the head is large and brown with a dull orange inverted v mark so you can see here the v mark so these are the uh, five uh, larva of this species that is the papillodomelius so now after the fifth instant larva they metamorphosed into a pupa in which the adult development starts so the pupa are stout rugose and about 30 millimeter long so you can see here this is the pupa so this fleshy fog structure is uh, they are attached to the thicker stem of the host plant or to the adjacent sticks and rocks the color is dimorphic typically for many swallow tails being either pale green or pink brown with other variable cryptic markings so these markings are because they can camouflage with their surrounding and they can be protected from the enemy the green form is usually marked dorsally with yellow uh, the color pattern imitates the dominant surrounding color to which the pupa is attached the pupal duration is variable in some areas it is about 30 days in spring reducing to 18 days in summer but often those who performed in captivity during autumn will not produce adults until the following spring or even longer with one record of 280 days so the pupa has a normal uh, lifespan of 30 days or we can say that uh, in spring and in 18 days in summer but if we are uh, keeping them in captivity agar hum usko कैप्टिविटी में रख रहे हैं ठीक है हम उसको खुद पाल रहे हैं तो कभी कभार वो बहुत ज्यादा टाइम ले सकता है अगर हमने उसको एटम में उसको कैप्टिविटी में रखा ठीक है तो कम से कम वो 280 280 डेज भी ले सकता है ठीक है वो डिपेंड करता है किस पे टेंपरेचर पे फेवरेबल कंडीशंस पे ठीक है तो नॉर्मली स्प्रिंग सीजन में वो 30 डे में वो पुपा से बाहर एडल्ट में कन्वर्ट हो जाता है बट समर सीजन में वो जल्दी हो जाता है ओके सो uh, if we talk about the you can see the pink brown pupa and you can see here the pale green pupa so uh, this is according to surrounding uh, it's in which they want to camouflage 
so in if we talk about the adults the adults uh, range in wingspan from 80 to 100 millimeter the hen wings has uh, no tail the upper portion of the fore wing is largely black and the outer wing margin has a series of irregular yellow, yellow spots so you, you can see in this diagram the yellow spots uh, the two yellow spots are present at the upper end of the discal cell with several scattered yellow spots in apical region the upper hind wing has a red tornal spot and a disc discal black and band is dusted with yellow scale so you can see here the yellow, uh, yellow spots the underside is paler if you look at uh, look the adult from lower side the lower side is pale yellow with the black areas more heavily dusted with yellow the adult fly in every month but are more abundant after monsoons so you can see in this diagram totally the description of the adult now the life cycle Normally the female lays nearly 100 to 150 eggs singly or in groups. If they singly lay or they lay in groups, that is 100 to 150. So normally they lay singly on one leaf. They lay on one leaf. They lay on one leaf. वन फिफ्टी लीज तक गया है जितने भी वो एक्स ले करता है तो उतने लीव्स पे वो जाएगा और वहाँ पे एक्स को ले करेगा ठीक है या एक ही लीव से वो अलग अलग जगह पे एक्स को ले करेगा सो नंबर ऑफ जनरेशन पर ईयर तो अगर अच्छा कंडीशन हो जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल इक्वेटर पे हो तो वो इंक्रीज हो जाता है दैट इज़ एट जनरेशन अगर वो कोल्डर रीजन में होगा तो थोड़ा वो जनरेशन क्या हो जाता है कम हो जाता है देन uh duration of uh, lar uh, x stage that is 3.1 to 6.1 days to wo depend karta hai fir se temperature pe aur larval stage ka hai that is 12.9 to 22.7 days agar hum pupa ki baat karenge to 8 days se leke 24 days tak wo hatch ho sakta hai adult mein agar hum adult ki baat karenge to uska zyada uh, life span nahi hota hai uh, it completes its life span within 4 to 6 days uh, with an average of uh, 5.1 days theek hai so you can see here a diagram of the life cycle so the egg is laid on the uh, leaves and from these leaves the first install larva comes out then the second install larva then the third install larva then the fourth install larva then the fifth install larva then finally the fifth list install larva undergoes the pupation that is the pupa formation and you can see the pupa changes its color according to its surrounding and finally the pupa the adult comes out from the pupa and it completes its life cycle so if we talk about the damage caused by this uh, particular pest to the uh, plant so mainly it feeds on the citrus plant i have already told you it has uh, it feeds on uh, different uh, citrus plant like uh, outside Australia and New Guinea it uh, feeds on plants in the rutaceae family it is known to feed on virtually all species and varieties of native or introduced citrus like citru uh, in included cultivated citrus species that is um, Glycosmis pentaphylla that is Jamaican uh, man uh, mandarin orange Rutra gravulinus that is common rue, Acle marmulus that is golden apple, then curry leaf tree and East Indian satin wood. So uh, Papillodomulus has been uh, observed ovipositing on citrus orientum that is bitter orange and citrus orientifolia that is key lime or Mex uh, Mexican lime or West Indian lime. So common uh, the potential sustainability of additional cultivated and Native New World Rutaceae, including plant in the gen, uh, genera Amiris, Petilia, and Xentho, Xenthoxylum, is also known. So, uh, if we uh, talk about on this uh, host plant, mainly it uh, feeds on the younger leaves and terminal shoot. Their habit is to eat uh, from edges up to midrib. So, larger caterpillar can feed on mature leaves. So, uh, uh, 
the next is uh, its economic importance so what is its economic importance so the new world arrival of this vigile lepidopteran pest is a potential threat to the citrus industries in the region the larva are a serious pest of citrus nursery stock trees that is one to uh, one to two feet in height and other young citrus trees in asia and the middle east where they are capable of defoliating uh, entire nursery groups larva may utilize young leaf flesh on more mature trees uh, so uh, we are talking about the uh, host plant uh, on which this uh, pest feeds so it uh, includes i have already told you it includes the rotaceae we are going back to the damage we are uh, host plant it uh, mainly depends on the family rotaceae that is cultivated lime orange and lemon that is uh, grandis lemonensis sinensis so they are, these are the different uh, lemon and orange species then atlanta racemosa glycomis pentaphylla ruta gravillonis bale and uh, microcitrus australiensis so these are the some family of rutaceae it also uh, feeds on the family ramenaceae it includes the bear that is the zizifus mauritiana it also uh, feeds on the family fabiaceae which include the culian australisium and uh, culian bedocanum calian patens calium postulatum and canyon tinex and uh, pesori relia pinnata so if we're talking about the economic uh, significance so uh, the lime butterfly is economic is an economic pest on many cultivated citrus species in india pakistan iraq and the middle east due to its history of successful dispersal and range extension the lime butterfly is likely to spread from its uh, original point of introduction in hispaniola in the caribbean to neighboring florida central america and south america due to its capability to for rapid uh, population growth under favorable cir circumstances and its having been uh, recorded to have five generation in a year in a temperate regions of china it is considered a serious potential threat uh, so if we're talking about the damage the caterpillars can complete completely defoliate young citrus uh, trees below Two feet and devastate citrus nurseries. Uh, in mature trees, caterpillars may prefer young leaves and leaf flesh. Okay, so these are the some uh, economic importance uh, because we know that <coughs> um, farmers mainly depend on the citrus fruit. Have uh, got a, a huge amount of profit from the citrus. If those citrus fruit are damaged by this. Uh, pest like papilla pep, uh, papilio so uh, it will cause a huge loss to the economy of the farmer as well as the country you can see here the larva feeding on the leaves how they start eating the leaves from the uh, end, uh, from the uh, uh, periphery and comes near to the mid rib so it's a control or we can say the management how can we manage this pest by affecting our um, uh, trees uh, uh, we, we have some biological control and some uh, chemical control in biological control we have uh, three parasitoids which are known to parasitize this papilo uh, demolius larva in india mainly in, if we talking about the india so uh, there are some wasp which effect on this particular species so um, despite their two stage camouflage scheme some caterpillars of pim uh, that is papillar demolius are found by parasitic wasps which lay dozens of eggs in them so in india the parasitic wasps 
larvae eat the caterpillar from inside initially the vital organs are avoided but by the time the caterpillar is ready to pupate even the vital organs are consumed shortly before or soon after the caterpillar pupates the parasitoids emerge from their host thus killing it to agar hum india mein baat karenge to kuch wasp hain jaise ki एपेंटेलिस है एपेंटेलिस पेपिलोनियसिस है एपेंटेलिस सीपीशीस है ब्रेकॉन हेबेटोर है दैट इज़ द बिलोंग्स टू हेमिनोप्टेरा तो ये मतलब कुछ वेस्प स्पीशीज है जो इन पे फीड करते हैं ठीक है सो so, ये जो वेस्प क्या करते हैं नॉर्मली ये जो कैटरपिलर होगा उसमें अपने एक्स ले करता है ठीक है देन जैसे वो कैटरपिलर पुपा फॉर्मेशन करेगा तो वो जो एक्स है उसको अंदर से खा लेता है पूरा सिर्फ उसके वाइटल ऑर्गन्स बचते हैं वहाँ पे तो वाइटल ऑर्गन्स भी आ, वो खाते कब जब वो पोपा से एडल्ट में कन्वर्ट होने वाले हैं ठीक है सो so, जब पोपा जब ये कैटरपिलर पोपा फॉर्म करेगा तब तक ये जो पेरेस्टाइड्स है वो उसके वाइटल ऑर्गन्स भी खा लेंगे और बाई किलिंग द होस्ट इट कम्स आउट ओके सो so, uh, इन्होंने यहाँ पे लिखा है दैट इज़ द ट्राइकोगामा स्पीशीज आर इफेक्टिंग एक पेरेस्टोइड्स तो जो एक्स है इसका एक पेरेस्टोइड है दैट इज़ द ट्राइकोगामा स्पीशीज सो अगर हम थाईलैंड uh, की बात करेंगे तो टू काइंड ऑफ एक पेरासाइड वेर फाउंड दैट इज ओनोसाइट्रस मेलेंसेसिस फेरारी एंड टेट्रास्टेकस सो दीज आर सम एक पेरासाइड्स विच फीड ऑन द एक ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर Pest. Then uh, it has also some larval parasites that is Erythrina nymphae, uh, nymphalido faga, and Canthicoinida forcellata, and other natural enemies of larvae include redwood bugs, birds, spiders, fascid wasps, and chameleons. and we uh, if we talk about the pupal parasite there is uh, brachymeria pteromelus and uh, puparum and ophiocoridiceps okay these are some pupal parasite larval parasite and egg parasites so in jamaica and in cricket egg parasite and a uh, chalicidoid parasite have been reported so there are some uh, biopesticides that is bacillus thuringiensis and bivaria bacinia as well as neem seed kernel extract and as a um, as a directin were shown to have effects on papillodomelias in india uh, bacillus uh, thuringiensis showed the highest level of control so you can see we can spray 3% neem extract which is a biopesticide is also effective for this controlling the this pest and uh, also we have endosulfan we can also spray the trees with endosulfan but in india endosulfan is now banned uh, so uh, this is the biological controls always as the chemical control of this pest that is the papilio uh, demolius so this is all for today thank you